Auto racing is one of the most popular sports in the world. From Formula One to NASCAR, Indy 500 to Le Mans, auto racing has emerged from dusty tracks to glistening high-tech raceways with millions of fans worldwide. From what was once a cult following, today's fans embrace not just the cars and the racers, but the entire high RPM lifestyle complete with gear, clothes, and of course, video games. The worldwide leader in the racing genre is the Gran Turismo franchise whose latest release, GT4, promises to revolutionize the industry yet again. A preview of the latest and greatest took place at the 2003 E3 convention in Los Angeles. At a live press conference featuring the game-developing guru Kazunori Yamauchi of Polyphony Digital, the next generation of Gran Turismo was unveiled. GT4 will feature over 500 cars and more than 50 racetracks. This game is not only a hit with gamers, but also with automotive industry insiders like Jeff Bartlett at Motor Trend Magazine. The all-new physics engine in Gran Turismo 4 promises new levels of realism that's certain to appeal to enthusiast professionals alike. It allows a chance to virtually test drive a car and truly get a realistic lap time on the tracks. By mixing real-time action with photo-fixed backgrounds, a super-realistic environment is created, enabling racers to see and feel what it's like to race through the streets of New York while seeing your reflection in a competitor's car. This environment mapping creates graphics so detailed that you'll be able to see leaves shaking in the wind as you blow by and head down the road. Add in the enhanced physics of car interaction with the environment, and you get a superior gaming experience. And while the new graphics and mapping techniques are on the leading edge of technology, the advancements in gameplay mode may be the most awesome part of the new package. GT4 will now have the ability to network up to six players in an enhanced arcade mode. The Sony Computer Entertainment booth put GT4 into overdrive by setting up jumbotrons that showcase the live racing. Racing enthusiasts had a chance to demo the new networked version, equipped with the latest steering wheel and gas and brake peripherals from Logitech. It was a big rush. The competing was a lot of fun, got a lot of adrenaline flowing. The, whole, the energy down here is really exciting and I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. It had a lot, a lot more features. The cars were like intense, the graphics, everything was just amazing. It was exciting. Excited, really excited. My palms were sweating. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah. still shaking. Look at me. Oh man, the physics are just getting a lot more better. Overall, from the series, it's just improved from one, two, three, up to four now. Man, it's great. It's more based on a simulator than actual arcade driving, like some of the traditional driving games. Uh, it's more realistic, and uh, with the uh, Logitech wheel, you get more of a real feel to the game because there's actually force feedback in the thing. If you hit something in the game, you actually get knocked out of the way. With the online component, I'm way excited. I'll probably have marital problems, but... <laughs> With this much excitement being generated by the preview, anxious racing fans can hardly wait to see what else is in store when GT4 is released.